Alrighty, so we have a emergency kind of update. We now know the color of the supports. The supports look really weird too. Um, I was comparing it to other, I compared it to Val Raven. Um, we have very Intamin-ish, new word, Intamin-ish, like supports for this coaster. It's for the station area by the looks of it and the turnout of the station. They are I-beam triangles. Weird, huh? Very weird. They're dark green, so, I mean, this kind of confirms the forest theme. Um, it, it, is this going to be a bird flying through the forest? Is it going to be Ziz and, like, the? it's supposed to be, like, it's so weird. Like, um, I'm going to say, at first judgment, it's, like, really dark green and brown, but you know what? Picture it. So this coaster goes through a lot of the forest area. It's going to be through, like, Timberwolf's Forest, a little bit close to Whitewater Canyon. Um, it's through the water and they're gonna be planting probably a lot of trees. So I think it's a great choice. So as you can see here, very weird. Um, I don't think I've seen it. We looked at Valraven Station, very different support structure, extremely different. Um, so again, it's triangular I-beams. Um, it's vertical I-beams, which are seen on some um, B&Ms, but to see the triangular I-beams similar to I-305, like it's, it's so weird, it's like, um, a very weird design. It's almost like it's meant to hold more weight than Val Raven or more stress or force. I have no idea. Like, comment down below what you guys think of this weird support structure. Um, so again, it's dark green. It's eye beamish. Uh, all these words I create. <laughs> And it, uh, it, uh, yeah, it is nothing like Val Raven's support structure. We looked, we compared, um, and and nothing. Um, so this is different. This is this project is seriously confuzzling me. Um, <laughs> I'm conf kerfuffled, com <laughs> like literally. I have no idea. Like, um, but I love. I'm gonna say I love the choice of colors. I know, if you're thinking about it right off the bat, you're like, really, ew. But no, you have to picture it with its environment that it's intended to be in, and I think it's brilliant. It's gonna blend in so well in that forest area, and with a little bit of theming, it's gonna look great. It's not gonna like ruin the area, like with a red. You know, if like they threw red in the center of the park and like the, in the uh, forest and over the like little pond, it would be too much of a distraction, whereas this blends in so nicely. Um, so I'm so thrilled that they went with the dark green. It looks amazing. Um, definitely want to hear what you guys think of the color scheme. So comment down below what you think of the color scheme, what you think of the weird support structure and what you think it could mean. I mean, this project is just getting weirder and weirder. So I do want to confirm we have all five pieces for the station and brake run now. All five pieces are here. We have the support beams that are now here. So, I mean, vertical construction looks like it's ready to go. I mean, they put up that construction wall so people can't look in um, at any side of the construction field now. So they're definitely trying to hide something. So I'm going to guess that vertical construction starts within the next two weeks. Um, they are just finishing off the last um, footing or building around the footing for the lift hill. And then that whole area is done and just needs vertical construction before they start landscaping. Again, they usually like to complete the coaster before they start landscaping. So that's why maybe this coaster is starting earlier. Maybe this has a whole new aspect that we don't even know about, but also pay attention to this weird aspect of the ride. I mean, like, this is so weird. Why like I-305 styled supports? Like, is this a project by Intamin and BNM? I'm kidding, calm down. No one, don't get too triggered. <laughs> Um, but yeah, very weird. Uh, again, comment down below what you guys think. Hopefully you guys like this color and hopefully you like this video. Give the video a like, subscribe if you haven't, and stay tuned for more from Amusement Insiders. We are providing you with all the inside information on this coaster project. Thanks so much. Have a good one, guys.